It's Eddie Potter here with Junkyard Life. I'm standing in front of my 79 Pontiac Trans Am. I just saw one similar to mine on Facebook Marketplace. It looked like a tree had fallen across it. Let's find out what happened. Turns out it's a really special car. He's owned it 30 years. It's a black Trans Am, just like this one. Let's go check it out. Yeah, and I was in the bed. I looked and I seen the curtain shaking. Right, so I was like, oh no. And the sound, it was like a sound of thunder and metal and glass. So I had my truck right here, and of course, Trans Am was right there. Dang. So when I woke up, my wife had actually got up. It woke her up. So I walked by, I said, oh my God, that's a tree. I bet that tree, oh my God, it sounded like a tree fell on the car. So we went out, I, sh I shined a flashlight off the back porch. I said, oh no, not my Trans Am. I just went back to bed. Oh, like, what can like? he do? But I seen the tree was laying right here. I said, oh no, maybe it just dented it a little bit. Yeah. But oh, I gotta check this car out. Something something happened. 79 Trans Am black. Yeah. Um, black and gold, my favorite. Yeah. It came down and it did it. It bounced. Just so we crushed it and it bounced back up. So it's in the air right here. I said, well maybe it's just a dent. But that's a little more than a dent. Oh man. Yep. A lot more than a dent. Man, gold hood, T tops. Yeah. That's the Fisher T top. We woke about, I guess it was 2 10 in the morning. It, something just told me it, that sounded like a tree falling. Sure enough, you know, a, a very, very large tree that was right there. Found on it split the difference between the Trans Am and my Dodge Ram truck. So, uh, yeah. It's really heartbreaking, heartbreaking to, to hear that noise at 2.10 in the morning yep. and come out and... Tree total the Trans Am. Trans -Am. Car. except for the paint and the birds. I had it painted probably 10, maybe 15 years ago. Um, and put new birds and stickers and Trans Am and all the emblems on it. Other than that, it's pretty much original car. Yeah, so it runs good, drives great. Um, and, and in fact, I crank it up and moves it around the yard. It still runs and drives. Yeah, let's take a look at the engine, but yeah, you know, that's a 403 old, but. Yeah, and it's the original engine. Uh, I, I've never, uh, other than, um, I started doing some work on it to really get it to where I can just travel anywhere I want to go on it. So yeah. I put a new, new master cylinder on it, a uh, new alternator, new fuel pump. Um, so I've just been working yeah, on it. Yeah, it looks I didn't good. Really got the air, still got the air parts and on there. It looks pretty them. original. I like yeah. that. What color was it originally? Is it a, it's, black. it is a 19. Black. Okay, it is starlight black. There it is. They got yeah. the 19 on there. Yep. Yeah, it's all like black. So I went back to the original color on it. 87. Dang. Yeah, it's kind of crazy because, I mean, you could take it and drive it down the road right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'd recommend it. But... Right, right. Let's... So you're gonna be heartbroken. You try to buy another one. If you gotta, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to see if I can get another one. Okay. I'm looking at one now. So you yeah. need as much money as possible for the insurance to make that possible. I do. The, Part of me wants to keep this car and fix it. You know, me and my son uh, worked on it when he was a little kid. He helped me put the bird on the hood. Oh man, he that's me great. Do those kind of things. <laughs> Special to him, me and him, because we worked on it together. I don't know. Part of me wants to try to fix it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. The, the damage is so. I don't know. It's so. So it hit it so hard. I just don't know uh, what it will take to fix that. What drew you to the Trans Am, like 1993? I don't know, I probably had six or seven Trans Ams prior to that. Smoking the Bandit, you know, came out in 77. So I can remember my mom taking me down there. I wanted to go see that movie, so I was 11, right? So she dropped me off at the first showing that day. I want to say it was around noon, something like that. 
But I stayed there and I called her on the payphone. I can remember calling her and asking her, can I stay and just keep watching this movie? So I hid in the top. So in between movies, so they wouldn't come and get me as a little kid. Um, but I watched that movie all the way until the last show of it that night. And that night, I remember thinking I'd never seen a car look like that, even as a kid. It's like, that is the coolest car I've ever seen. I did tell my mom in later years, I said, Mom, you really took me down there at 10 years old and left me to come between <laughs> all day and night long. Okay, so, so I actually bought this car in 1993. So this year would have been 30 years that I've owned the car. So uh, through the years, it's pretty much all original. Um, the only thing I really done was put, I would put a paint job on it probably 10, maybe 15 years back, put the new birds on it. Um, but other than that, it's an original car. Um, I actually bought this car, uh, of course for me, but I, me and my son, I was going to end up letting him have the car, you know, in the years to come. And so, so him and my grandbabies would have something to ride in, you know, in the future, have a really cool car. But you've um, owned it how many years? Uh, 30 years. 30 yeah, years. This year was the 30th year. 30 years. Wow, yeah. that's pretty good investment. I won't get into how much you right. paid for it. We can keep that on the down low. But, uh, <laughs> right. but it definitely right. was a good investment. Right. Yeah, so yeah. I was able to keep it all those years, you know. It's something um, you were going to hand down to your kids and grandkids. Or that was the, yeah, yeah that's and, great. And, you know, that meant as much to me, uh, knowing that they're going to get that in the generations to come as, as me having it, you know. Um, so we would ride around the neighborhood. You know, this, especially this summer, we'd take the T-tops out and we'd all go for a ride and ride around up through here. And But, you know, that was the plan for the car, was to, to, to pass it on to my, my son and the grandkids and let, you know, let it keep going, so. The total Trans Am. Looks like it's done for. Looks like it's done for. We'll, we'll see if he can uh, do something with it or not. Insurance said it's a total loss. We'll see how it goes. Well, best of luck, Sean. Thanks for letting check out your car. Thank you.